What's up guys, I am back and in this video, we are going to talk about iOS 14.2. So we'll talk about the release date and the new features that you can expect with this update. So to kick things off, let's talk about the biggest new addition. We have eight new wallpapers with iOS 14.2, actually 16 new wallpapers if you count the dark mode ones. So these are really good looking ones and there are some vector arts as well and some landscapes in this. And as I said, they double up as dark mode wallpapers and they all look really nice. But this one looks the best in my opinion in both dark mode and the light mode. And all these 16 new wallpapers will be coming really soon with iOS 14.2. But other than that, we have 70 plus new emojis with iOS 14.2. So all of these, they were teased back in June, but it's finally made its way with iOS 14.2. So we have two new faces. We have a disguised face. Then we have a ninja, a person in tuxedo. Then we have this pinched hand. It looks really nice. We have new lungs, heart. Then we have a ton of new animals. We have a black cat, a bison, a mammoth, a beetle. So a ton of them are coming really soon to your iPhones and your iPads. And the intercom feature that was teased with the HomePod mini is also making its way with iOS 14.2. So you'll easily be able to talk to your family using the intercom feature around the house if you have the HomePod or the HomePod mini. Now they have also added one really small feature with the music player for the lock screen. So now we have timestamps at the ends which didn't exist before. And it's surprising that it didn't, but finally with iOS 14.2, we will have timestamps and we'll be able to guess how much song is left, which is nifty. Now, if you have the AirPods or the AirPods Pro, we finally have the option to enable optimized battery charging, which will help in slowing down the battery aging, giving you more battery life. And you will also get a notification every single time the audio levels exceed a particular decibel to maintain your hearing, which is a good thing. Now, they have also added new controls for the AirPlay feature. And if you have the iPhone 12 Pro, Using the LiDAR sensor and the magnifier app, you will be able to detect people and report them for distancing, which is a cool feature. And talking about performance and battery life, don't expect anything major. They have improved it, but just by a tad bit. So when can we expect iOS 14.2 to come to public? Now, Apple has been really unpredictable this year, and we literally got the first beta before iOS 14.1. So I think it can come out next week around 10 because it usually comes out on a Tuesday. But as I said, they have been really unpredictable and it can come out today also, or maybe on the 4th. But my money and my bet is that it's gonna come next week around 10 or 12, just before the release of the iPhone 12 Pro Max and the iPhone 12 mini. So that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if it did, give it a big thumbs up. And stay tuned because a lot of content is coming really soon. So until then, please like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.